breaking right now at noon. Our first look inside the crime scene days after the mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Also here at Noonan Memorial outside, the high school continuing to grow as we learn when the school will reopen after this tragedy. Meanwhile, students calling for change following the massacre. They're hitting the road today, taking their message straight to Florida lawmakers in Tallahassee. And remembering the victims today, funeral services being held for four more of the victims in this shooting. And we do have team coverage this noon. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul is covering the funerals for us today. And Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos is live outside Stoneman Douglas High School. But let's start our coverage with Glenna Milberg with that first look inside the crime scene. Glenna. And I want to make it clear as we come to you from the state capitol in Tallahassee that the photographs you are about to see, although they do show what is technically a crime scene, was an awful crime scene. What we are going to show you will do nothing to mitigate anything that the crime scene detectives there or that police or prosecutors are working on. There will be nothing that breaches any sort of privacy or sensitivity. What these photos will show you, though, is some of what lawmakers are going to be dealing with here as they try to address the students coming up in mass to change gun laws. The first photograph you're going to look at is from inside a ground floor classroom in building 12. At, that's the freshman building at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School where the killing fields took place. And what you see as we sit on this one photo for just a moment, I want you to take a look at the glass in the door. I think you can tell that it has been broken. It has been busted out. Uh, the theory being that Nicholas Cruz used the butt end of his AR-15 assault rifle to break through that glass and shoot into the classroom where the students were cowering under desks. And that's going to be very key. We'll talk about that in just a moment. He never did go into a classroom. Let's go to the next photograph. You can see how the desks are all in disarray. You can picture how students who were hearing the gunshots were cowering. If you look closely, you can see one student left his uh, earbuds, white cable with earbuds on the desk as they tried to escape, sit down in the classroom, trying to hide from the shots. The next picture is a view of that same classroom through a hallway door. This might be the sort of view that Nicholas Cruz had as he walked through the first floor of Building 12. The last photograph, a similar shot. All of these photos taken on that first floor, of course, that we know Nicholas Cruz then went up to the second floor and then the third floor of that building and tried to shoot out the teacher's lounge window but was unable because that window had hurricane glass and so the people evacuating underneath that window did evacuate safely instead of being uh, underneath a hail of more bullets. Uh, there are students already here. You will hear more about all of the students coming up from Parkland and around South Florida to Tallahassee in just a few minutes. But right now I can tell you there were some here, some who have already met with lawmakers. We were in the halls of the Capitol, ran into them a very tight schedule as they use this grief and this anger to try to show lawmakers that something needs to be done and that they are the ones that would like to force this change. As we come out here live and take a look at the Capitol behind me, you know we're in the third or fourth week of session. You know that there will be no new bills coming out having anything to do with gun laws, but there are several bills that these students are focusing the lawmakers' attention upon things that we can change right now around uh, in different buildings around Tallahassee. Governor Rick Scott has convened workshops with uh, mental health professionals, with sheriffs. He's trying to get ideas of how to stop gun violence. There are those who will tell him there are many ideas he could have had already. Uh, that remains to be seen, but we will be here to follow this process and see what those kids are able to get done. I'm Glenna Milberg in Tallahassee today, Local 10 News.